Welcome to TechTwizzles with Damiro. In this video, we are going to learn about a data table operation in a course tool. So think about that, you want to create some temporary table, insert some values, and then use that in the different queries that's possible by using data table operation. So data table returns a table whose schema and values are defined in the query itself. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here uh, I have created uh, this uh, data table. So you're gonna say data table, then you have to start uh, small parentheses, then provide a list of the columns. Uh, in this case, I'm providing ID, that's integer type, comma, name, uh, column, that's a string type. Uh, then uh, with the uh, square uh, parentheses, I'm providing the values. Uh, so each value I'm separating with the comma. See so right there, so this is our first value, one and Amir, that's our first uh, value then I did put comma after that then I put the second value for the second uh, uh, row so second ID two and Shazar the third is Lisa and all that and uh, that's it uh, the, now your data table is ready and you can use it uh, to select the data out from uh, this uh, data table uh, you can use where clause right away and here I use the pipe sign and then use the where clause and set the ID is greater than two so in this case it should return me only one record uh, so I will go ahead and execute and uh, I am getting uh, the record three uh, where uh, it is a uh, ID is greater than two, right? So if I wanted to get more records, I can do something like that where ID is greater than uh, one or if I just want to um, get everything, then uh, I I don't have to uh, provide any specific uh, aware class at all. So I will just run this part of it. Uh, now, if we would like to give us some name to our data table and the further use in some queries, that's possible as well. You will say let and then provide the name you want to give to this data table. In this case, I'm giving this temp data name to the data table. So I said let temp data equal to and the rest of that is going to be pretty much same what you have right there. And then you are closing at the end with the uh, this is a semicolon right there. Now, how to select the data? You will say temp data, and uh, that's it. So, if I run this entire query without a uh, where clause, I'm going to get everything from the temp data table. So, uh, that's fine. If you want to use the where clause again, you can use uh, where ID is greater than one or any other columns you would like to filter on. So, right here, that's uh, what we are getting. Now, this uh, uh, data table can be used with the other uh, tables as well such as let's say you created a data table with the list of some uh, month names uh, maybe just uh, three months data you would like to select and then you can join with some other uh, table uh, to get the data only for those specific months uh, uh, that's possible in this case uh, what i'm doing i am just creating a scenario where uh, i'm creating uh, this uh, let uh, temp data uh, that's the name i'm giving you given to my data table and then i'm union i'm doing union with the total sale table um, so see right there that's my data table uh, right there and then uh, i'm using a query here say union and temp data that's my this table comma to other table called total sale so union these two tables uh. okay so i have to re run the entire thing together and this is going to union uh, those are two tables. One is the temp data. See right there, there are two columns only available, ID and name in this. And then I have a total sale, which has also ID. And then all the other columns are there as well. So this union in does not work like a SQL where you have to have exact the same column names. Here you can union the tables which have different columns. Whatever the columns matches, they will show with the same name. And whatever the columns are not matching with each other table, they will show as a separate term. So in this tempo, uh, data uh, table data table we had only two columns so ID and name so you can see right there and then the rest of the columns uh, are coming from the total sale so this is how you will use uh, the data table to define your uh, definition of that data table insert some rows uh, and then use uh, in different queries uh, in uh, with, uh, with the other tables uh, in Kusto thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video